Hi there. Well, we're back to working on the wrecker again. Um, we got our power steering pump off, and uh, we need to pull the pulley and the brackets and move that to our new PSC power steering pump. So we have our pulley puller here. Now we can get at the bolts for the bracket. Four bolts that hold the bracket on. Now the new pump has a fitting for the remote reservoir and the only thing it has on the back is the pressure line fitting. The reason for that is is because of the two return lines, ones that go on that goes here and one that goes here from our hydro boost and from our power steering uh, gear, they return now to the remote reservoir. Then we get to install our pulley back on there. Bottoms out. Flush with the end of the shaft. Now, before we install it on the truck, we're going to set up our feed hose between the pump and the remote reservoir, or at least the end that goes onto the pump. Okay, now we can put the pump back on the truck. All right, there, pump's on. Well, now, where to put the remote reservoir? This looks like an obvious spot right here. We want it uh, above the pump 
and we want a uh, nice direct line from the reservoir uh, down to the pump. So that looks like it would be a good spot right there. We have to make sure that's low enough so we can still close the hood. Uh, looks like we're going to have to make a bracket. Well, we put two bolts in the front side to keep it from pivoting. Now for the hard one, the one in the back. Now we gotta clearance out that a little bit. That'll do. A little peep. Well, that should do it. We have our main feed coming from our reservoir down to our power steering pump, and we have our two return lines, one coming back from our steering gear and one coming back from our hydro boost. PSC gives you a little uh, elbow and a vent hose to go in the cap here. We'll have to figure out where to tuck and tie that off. Well, that stage is done. The next stage will be the uh, high steer tie rod, and the high steer arm, and hopefully the steering cylinder. For those of you who are commenting why didn't I just take the steering wheel off and turn it and put it back on, in case you missed it, I said the GM steering wheels were keyed. In other words, they have a master spline. They only go on one direction. So you can't pull the steering wheel off, turn it a little bit, and put it back on. That's why we twisted the shaft. As far as the shaft being strong enough, well, it's 5 8 square stock. I think heating it up and giving it a little twist isn't going to cause a problem. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there, and maybe we'll see you in the woods.